Today I'm gonna show you how to adjust the timing using VCDS. So we are going to measuring blocks. Now the timing is minus two point five. <coughs> We have a hard starting with engine hot at this value. So the engine specification is minus six to plus six. To adjust the timing, I have to the dismount the air inlet. And the cover for timing belt. This is the timing belt. We have three bolts that I, we have to loosen. Number 15 <coughs> spanner. We are losing these bolts and we are moving the roll. Spanner number 13 you can use to tighten the bolts. So I made the mark and uh, I pushed the car back and forward with uh, and the wheel moved backward. Now we have to test it with VCDS. Those are temporarily mounted. We start testing. So now the torsion value is 5.4, not good. So I have adjusted the big wheel with spanner number 16, or you can use an English spanner. Don't forget to mark the position. Now it's zero. So we are starting the, the, the engine with hot engine to see how it's starting. I'm coming back. Let's see what is the uh, fuel consumption. We have uh, 0 0.4 now.
doing good. Very easy to see the sensor hook. Very easy indeed. Now we are mounting everything back. I'll start the engine to see how it's working. So, good starting. We're gonna start again to see how it's working. If you think that uh, the information was useful for you, give a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you again.